So Mastering Dynamic is still a relatively young company, but they are really trying to make a name for themselves by creating these ultra high quality luxury headphones and earbuds. And that's definitely still the case with their latest truly wireless earbuds, the MW08s. Out of all of the truly wireless earbuds I've ever used, this case has got to be my favorite. Now, when it comes to pricing, the MW08 retail for $300, which in general is pretty expensive for a pair of truly wireless earbuds, if you ask me. And personally, for me, it is a little hard to justify spending that kind of money on these earbuds because personally, I am not a fan of their bass heavy sound signature that you still can't adjust even though these earbuds now have a companion app. The MW08s do have some upgrades over the MW07 Plus, but I still can't help but feel that these are still a little bit behind the rest of the market. Now first let's talk about the carrying cases, cause like I've mentioned in the past, case size is super important to take into consideration when looking into getting a pair of everyday carry truly wireless earbuds. If the case is too big, I don't want it. Case in point, the Bose QuietComfort earbuds. Now the MW08 case isn't as small as let's say the AirPods, Galaxy Buds Plus, Galaxy Buds Live, or Sennheiser CX400BT's case, but it's definitely acceptable. However, this isn't your average plastic case. The MW08 is rocking a stainless steel case that just feels awesome in your hands. The lid is super easy to open with a tactile lock and a satisfying snap when you close it. However, where you really notice a difference about this case is just its sheer weight. This thing weighs in at 81 grams, which is way more than your normal case that you would get with a standard pair of earbuds. Overall, the MW08's case just screams quality. It's just a joy to handle and it's decently small. But you're still going to be acutely aware of this case when it's in your pocket just because it's so dang heavy. But I still love it. However, one very important thing that I do got to point out here is that this case does not have wireless charging. Now, personally, I don't really care for wireless charging on my earbuds unless I'm using a phone that supports power sharing or if I've invested in multiple wireless chargers. And to be frank, I did stop using MagSafe on my iPhone because using the lightning port just charges it up faster. But I do got to point this out because wireless charging is becoming a super standard feature on both premium ANC earbuds and even your standard ANC earbuds like either the Air Pause, Galaxy Buds, or Pixel Buds. So even though I absolutely love this stainless steel case, one major trade-off is that you can only charge it up using a wired connection. But at least this case is using a USB-C port as it should. Now, when it comes to battery life, the case can supply an additional two and a half charges. So the earbuds themselves with their ANC turned off can go for up to 12 straight hours plus two and a half charges. We're looking at a combined battery life of 42 hours, which is above average for earbuds in 2021. And with their ANC turned on, the earbuds themselves can go for 10 straight hours. Plus, two and a half charges, we're looking at a combined battery life of 35 hours, which is still pretty dang impressive. But now let's talk about the earbuds themselves. Fit-wise, these earbuds fit okay, and they are different from previous Master and Dynamic earbuds. Most notably, they no longer have ear fins. Now, the MW08s don't fit like your standard pair of in-ear earbuds, like the Sennheiser CX400BTs or the Galaxy Buds Plus, which go into your ear canals a decent amount, but they also aren't shallow fitting like the AirPods Pro or Jabra Elite 85Ts. The MW8 kind of fit like the Galaxy Buds Pro, where they're in between shallow fitting and standard fitting. But the key thing here is that the MW08 are still using round ear tips, so they don't feel as natural as the AirPods Pro, Jabra's, or Galaxy Buds Pro, which are all using oval ear tips. Now, these earbuds do have a good sculpt to them, that does help with lockdown, but nonetheless, these earbuds do like to wiggle out on the regular. So, overall, these earbuds fit okay, but I wouldn't recommend them for working out. Regarding connectivity, these earbuds are using Bluetooth 5.2, but more importantly, each earbud establishes a connection with your phone. So, if you just want to use one earbud at a time, you can use either one. Whereas with the MW07 GOES, which are Mastering Dynamics entry-level workout earbuds, those earbuds are still using a Hero and Sidekick setup. So, if you just want to use one earbud at a time, you gotta use the correct earbud, which is usually the right earbud.
But when it comes to performance, these earbuds have zero latency across the board when watching movies or videos on your phone, whether you're using an iPhone or any Android device. And when it comes to audio codecs, the MW08s now have support for SBC, AAC, and Aptex, which is especially nice for iPhone users because Master and Dynamics previous earbuds only have support for SBC and Aptex. But now let's talk about listening to your music with these earbuds. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of how these earbuds sound because they have a very bass heavy sound signature that for me makes it very hard to hear the mids and vocals. For me, these earbuds are just too warm because even though I like and look for bass on my earbuds and headphones, I still want the vocals to be on top. Now, even though these earbuds have a lot of bass to them and the bass stays tight, it doesn't really resonate all that often. And quite frankly, these are the same criticisms that I had about the MW07 Plus and MW07 Go. Now, this time around, the MW08s have a companion app, but unfortunately, this app doesn't allow you to change the EQ on these earbuds. So, unless Master and Dynamic has a planned update that will bring an adjustable EQ to these earbuds, for now, you're stuck with the MW08 stock bass heavy EQ, which I feel is a shame because I really want to try these earbuds out with a reduced bass and raised mids EQ. So, with all that being said, if you're someone that's looking for a pair of great sounding earbuds, then I would recommend that you either go with the Galaxy Buds Pro or the Sennheiser CX400 BTs. Not only do both of these earbuds allow you to adjust their EQ to your liking, they also sound more open and their bass resonates a decent amount. Alright, so since Master and Dynamics' new app doesn't allow you to change the EQ on these earbuds, well, what does it do? Well, most notably, you can use this app to cycle between your active noise cancellation or ambient mode, which you can also do directly on the earbuds themselves by pressing and holding on the volume up or volume down rocker, which you'll find on the left earbud. However, you do want to use this app so that you can adjust the level of your ANC or ambient mode. Now, I will admit that there is a slight performance difference between all day ANC and max ANC, but it's really nothing that's going to blow you away. And in general, the ANC on these earbuds doesn't block out all that much noise. And certainly, the ANC on these earbuds doesn't block out anywhere as near as much noise as either the Bose QC earbuds, Jabra Elite 85Ts, Sennheiser Momentum 2s, or AirPods Pro, which I feel are neck and neck, or Galaxy Buds Pro. However, I will say that the ANC on the MW08 are on par of that of the Sony WF-1000 XM3s. But due to recent leaks, we know that the Sony WF-1000 XM4s are right around the corner. So if active noise cancellation is very important to you, then I highly recommend that you go with the Jabra Elite 85Ts because they really do block out an impressive amount of noise. Now, I know the Bose QC earbuds block out more noise than the Jabra's, but they do have considerably more cabin pressure and combined with their huge case, the Bose are just a really tough sell for me. Now, even though I'm not impressed by the ANC on the MW08, I really like their ambient mode. Now, there's two levels to the ambient mode. You can either let in everything, like your normal pair of earbuds, or you can have them only let in people's voices. And I will admit, it's pretty effective. And in general, this ambient mode sounds very natural with zero hissing in the background. And I also found that their microphone array does a spectacular job of blocking out wind noise when walking outdoors. Even gusts from the Hudson have a hard time getting in, and that could be because of their microphone placement. They're located on the rear of the earbuds themselves, and there's a lot of mesh covering these microphones, very similar to the AirPods Pro. And finally, here's the microphone test, and I think this microphone sounds great. It definitely likes to put a lot of emphasis on your voice, very similar to AirPods. However, you do want to try to take phone calls with these earbuds in a quieter environment because this microphone really doesn't block out all that much ambient noise. So, with all that being said, the MW08s definitely continue to deliver on the promise of high quality luxury earbuds. The earbuds themselves feel and look premium and their stainless steel case is a statement all by themselves. And from a tech spec standpoint, I really like their ambient mode and they have an impressive above average battery life. 
But personally, when it comes to sound, I am not a fan of their bass heavy sound signature that unfortunately you're still stuck with even though these earbuds now have a companion app. And when it comes to their active noise cancellation, they struggle to compete in 2021. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit that like button and get subscribed. It helps out more than you realize. If you want to pick any of the products up mentioned in this video, those will be linked in the description down below, and you can also support the channel by checking out the merch store. But other than that, I'll catch you next time.